Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you one of my favourite recipes and it is aromatic sea bass with rice. This is so simple and easy and I love making this for dinner. It's aromatic and it's got chilies, parsley and my special spice rub. So yeah my lovelies, I'm going to show you how to make this delicious sea bass recipe. And these are the ingredients. So what I have on my right is three sea bass cleaned and gutted i got my fishmonger to do this for me so you can get them to do that for you if you can't do that yourself i also have my spice mix over there some freshly chopped onions i also have some sweet bell peppers but this is optional i don't usually use that all the time and some fresh lemon slices which i'm going to add to the belly of the fish i also have here two teaspoons of maggie sauce it's kind of like the african version of soy sauce you can alternatively use soy sauce of course and this is the spice mix so i have here african dried pepper i also have here some bitter leaf and here i have some brown sugar and some ginger powder and some garlic powder so there you go guys that's my special spice mix for this recipe one of the things i love to do is to put a wet cloth underneath a chopping board this is a tip for stopping it from moving i'm also going to be using some foil and this is going to wrap our fish into so now I'm going to place some fresh lemon slices inside the belly of the fish. I'm also going to slice alongside it and then I'm going to mix my rub together and add in, in some peanut oil. This gives it a really nice flavour. You use canola oil, olive oil or any oil that you have. And when that's done I rub all of that into the fish. It's great to leave overnight or for a few hours before you cook it. So in a separate wok, <laughs> I'm going to heat it up, add some oil, some using peanut oil and some freshly chopped onions. And then I pour in some chicken stock. Now alternatively you can use some vegetable stock if you like or some fish stock and this is going to act as sort of like a sauce that I'm going to use when I pour all over the fish. the stock through a sieve and then I like to pour that all over the fish as you can see it smells amazing and then I like to wrap up the fish or oh, before I do that guys <laughs> forget it I like to add some parsley or some additional chopped chilies and I wrap that up and pop it into the oven for about 25 minutes or so fish doesn't need a long time to cook it just needs to be done right not overdone because then it gets dry and then I just take it out of the baking tray you can also leave it to you know steep for a few minutes and when I'm done I like to serve it on some rice and here I'm just pouring over a bit of that sauce that we made from the stock and then I'm pouring myself a glass of freshly made lemonade which I'm going to show you guys the recipe but yeah guys this is it you can enjoy it on its own sometimes I like to have it with some coleslaw some salad but yeah my lovelies that is it thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe and like this video and of course comment down below if you love sea bass.